Hi everyone, how is everybody doing today? Um, so I have just finished making these. Um, you're probably going to see it after Christmas because, as always, um, with these with the swap that we had in December, we're already yeah, <laughs> with the swap we had, the last swap we had in our group, then was a Christmas stocking swap and it was a secret sister sort of secret Santa sorry so the person that you were making for wasn't necessarily the person making for you so I've been really busy so the idea was that you made five stockings they all um, the patterns were on the group um, I think I've got one to show you the sort of the pattern size this was one of them and we had three that would mix and match so basically you could decide whether you wanted to do four of the same size or you could decide whether you wanted whether you wanted to do each size and then another one odd one up to you but the last one was stocking of 24 and it was marked up as stocking 24 and you couldn't go any bigger with these stockings because like i said to the group um what the stockings and what was inside them was the was the gold and the icing on top of the cake so you couldn't go any smaller with them the other thing that you could do was um so i put the patterns up in the group and like i say um there was two two sizes on one sheet and then one size on another because it was all on a4 i drew them out myself so um and i left the group to it to decide what stockings that they, they could choose um a part of this swap was also you had to make a christmas decoration now it was totally up to you what stocking it went in um i left that to everybody what you know i wasn't gonna say what stocking it went in um the other thing that we had to do was the stockings had to be numbered 20 to 24 because from the 20th um each day we're all we're all going to take it in turns to open a stocking whether that be on a video when we shared it to the group or whether that be in a photo when we shared it to the group. And that's how it worked. So on the 20th, we each opened a stocking. So they had to be numbered. And there was a Christmas decoration that had to go in one of them and we had to make five and fill them up. Now, two stockings, only two, could only be shop-bought items. Now, you could mix and match. So you could put various like handmade with shop-bought stuff but um, I said two because I didn't want um, everybody to go overboard and killing going overboard with the pennies in the shops to fill these stockings up. So it had to be mainly handmade. And it also had to get there by the 19th because um, it was just for me not to panic, panic about it. So this is going to be a bit of a... Um, a long video so i do i do apologize so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave stocking number 24 right to the very end and i'm going to take you through the four stockings that i chose so i did my mix and match and i did them like facing each other now these were the sizes so you had the two little ones and um, these was on one sheet and then that was on another um, you couldn't go any bigger with them, but you could fill them up. So I'm going to show you how how I've decorated them. We'll go through them. I'm also going to show you what's inside, but that's going to take a bit of... I'm not going to put them in as I go along, otherwise it's going to be taking too long. So I'll start off with this one. This is the last one I finish, finished. Now this one, it goes this way, so it faces the other way because... Yeah, I did the two ones to face the same way. Anyway, this has got a little loop on it so it can be hung. And um, the other thing that I forgot to tell you as well, the stockings had to be in your partner's colours. Because of a secret, um, I gave everybody a description of what Christmas colours your secret lady had. So if she had red and gold Christmas tree and she wanted a red and gold stocking, you had to make a red and gold stocking. So my colours I had to work from were white, gold, mustard, white, gold, mustard or cream I think. Those were the main colours anyway. So I stuck to sort of those colours. It was quite hard as I wanted everything to be in pink. 
they stuck to it so I made the stockings fairly white as you can probably see from the rest of them and I added the touch of I had a flicker of gold of um, lace and I had it to the bottom and I've also added it around the thing and I gave it my little bit of loop and I also stuck um, some dangle trim all the way around and the loops there so let's dive in I've got this bit of the trim that I dyed myself um, it's in a mustard colour so even though um, I've altered it so I've put that in I've also put in a paper clip because what girl couldn't go without a paper clip but definitely I couldn't because I always read in books and this is going to a lovely lady called Esme um, and I know she always reads books so this will definitely come in handy and what I did was I layered laces and appliques up and some bling centre so that was my um, paper clip then I added like I say a mixture and I tried to do as much as I could do now this image I actually transferred myself using the printer and I've actually said on the back peel the back off and you've got an image printed on fabric now that I actually did myself so that went in um, the knees, um, I bought these, but all she has to do is iron them out. There's one with the pussy cat ones. And then this one is ballerina, which I know she loves ballerina because her daughter is ballerina fantastic. So she's going to love that image and it's going to be used. So there's them. And like I say, the stockings try to fit as much as I could in them so there's um, a little dove flat back dove that I had in one of the recent kits I bought there's a little um, curled rose come on there's a bit of trim like um what do you call it like a disc it reminds me of like a disco ball trim so there's a bit of trim there is coming because they rammed it full. Oh, I got it. It's coming. There it is. Uh, the teapot button because um, Esme is also fabric orientated, she loves working with fabric, she loves working with felt mainly. And I l absolutely love her flowers. So that's what was in stock in number one, as you can see, all that rammed into one. I'm going to move that over. I'm going to go into the next stocking. Yes, oh, um, I covered it all in white. This one, I did put a bit of uh, wedding applique. It came from a um, uh, vintage. Yeah, this one came from a vintage wedding dress. So I put that in. Again, with that um, same trim as you saw there, I actually cut it down and I used some behind this little flower that I made. Per, uh, sparkly heart and I think Angie gave me some of them so thank you Ange um, this tr elasticated trim I recently bought and the handle is there so I'm going to just pop that there so I know where everything's going so I put in a butterfly um, applique I've put in some I've literally just put in like little scraps so this I literally cut out a lace and I thought she could use it there's another little applique there. Um, oh, this is a bit of wedding, um, vintage wedding dress there. I put in a button. Now this one, I'm not going to take it all out because it's mainly, as you can see, it's all different kinds of buttons. Because she's buttons like, she's crazy on buttons. Some of the buttons I've had for years and years and years and years and years, and some um, some I've I've bought purchased myself. So some I've already had in my stock. Um, the little ribbon roses, the buttons, more buttons, and there's I think there's some more as well in the bottom. Like I say, I did run this jammed pack full of stuff. So they were. That's what my that was what my second stocking consisted of. Can you see how flat it becomes? <laughs> so that is my second stocking. 
my third stocking then um again i used um some nice uh trim all these stockings by the way are lined so if i show you they're all lined inside with felt so when i was doing it i actually um sewed it with felt on the inside and obviously fabric on the outside some are um lace on the outside some are satin this particular one is lace and then i covered this in um some gorgeous lace that i had recently purchased and i just shaped it on the edge to give it that bit of heel because i didn't want to miss it obviously and make it bigger um i've added some appliques um i added the mustard trim because of course i'll be working with the mustard color again the gold flickering um bits of lace i had all these that came out of my scrap uh, little pile i sewed this on i believe i sewed that on there's the loop there and then in this one we have some of this fabric which i think i might take this out because this one's a bit too full i'm not sure yet um oh then i put another <laughs> then i put another uh, butterfly in might have to take that out because it's too rum jammed um then i what i did with these in this stocking there's altered buttons now i will do a tutorial on how i've done these because there's another button in here and you'll see it in a second completely different to this now each of those pearls have been hand stitched in um and they've been stitched um into the button so the button's not going to come anywhere near from it at all and i will show you um after christmas of course how i succeeded on doing these because they definitely um something that i will do again that one i actually did as well that is embroidered using cross stitch thread um and i sat there and i loved every second i just loved it and i didn't actually um read anything or do anything i think my mother sent me over um, a video and she said like maybe you wouldn't maybe this would interest you and i started watching it and i had learned the technique of how to do the flowers and that's how i succeeded them but yeah it's has got two of those flowers she's got more of that trim i've um cut, just you know colored in and altered then she's got um, a crocheted heart I've put in. Uh, this is another crocheted heart that I've crocheted. Wait, crocheted. What else is in there? I can feel lots of things. Oh, there's another. This um, was inspired by two people. The first one being my mum because she did one of these on or my uh, blanket that she had done and she had made a heart using fabrics and stuck a button in the in the middle and i was looking at the other day and it really inspired me to make one and the second person that inspired me to make one of these was miss paisy because angie had actually made one of these and put it in a pin book that she had given me um did she give me last year so two people inspired me to make that and that's made out of like a various different bit of trims and just scraps basically so that's what's in that one and i think there's some more things as well yeah oh and i've altered a little heart and i've added beads to it um to give it that bit of differentness so a lot of heart things going on in that stocking. So that stocking is completely empty now. So as you can see so far, um, there's a lot of things. I try to think, you know, because I told the group only two um, things to hand um, shop board. So what I had in mind was, right, okay, if I was filling stockings up, how would they be and what would they be? I'm going to zoom you out because you've zoomed in i've zoomed in and you obviously need to see the table so the other stocking now this stocking i don't know what number that it'll be but this is the other stocking so i'm gonna see i'm running out of room i knew i would 
but as you can see a ram jammed it full of things but i definitely will show come and show you how i've done those buttons um and i crocheted those hearts and i well chuffed with myself when i did them really enjoyed doing them actually so that um esme's got three sort of different well she's got four including that one four different hearts right this stocking this stocking is facing that way again i did them different facing different ways um i layered this up so that trim there is the same trim that i've used on this stocking except it's underneath and then i've just layered the trims up i've got I, again i sprayed that lace trim i think it was cosmetic shimmer and the actual color is called mustard um so i sprayed it with that because of course it was it was just fitted in with what i wanted it to do and then i just layered and layered and layered and layered and then i added a bit of vintage wood and applique here and i left the back as plain as well not as plain as possible but i didn't decorate the back as as the front because i thought if it was hanging up you're not going to see the back as much as you would the front so it did go wrap round, but i didn't do the boot obviously and um decorated that way now in this one the first thing i wanted to show you is this now i will come to a video on this i have actually i don't know when it's going up but i have actually done a video so i don't know what point it will go up you may see this before you may see it after i don't know but this is handmade ribbon i made this ribbon myself um i don't know where it came from um i tell you the inspiration it came from i had a, um, a tilda book out of the library it's called tilda winter ideas and in the back of the book was just a photocopy of um, handmade ribbon and angel wings right at the very back and in the book it didn't tell you how to make the ribbon it just said it would be a nice idea if you made handmade ribbon you could alter candles or alter, make your own soap and that was the inspiration so i thought oh handmade ribbon how do you make that so i just sat and sat and sat i didn't even look it up um and i just sat there and um i spent many hours working it out and um it's done using fabrics of course you can use your scraps of course you can but i will be back to show you how i have created this and um, so this definitely had to go to esme her being a fabric fanatic she is um i'd say she's our sewing uh, queen on the group she loves her sewing so um this definitely had to go to her so it's not the same either um let me try and show you it's not the same ribbon all the way through um i don't know where it changes actually there no I'm trying to think it's not the same or have i done this one the same yeah i think i have i unraveled it no it's not the same no i think this one is the same some of them i did because i made um some for my mum and i've made some for miss paisy and some of them i've done it's not the same ribbon so as you unravel it even though it's matching it's not the same It'll, i explain it a bit more in the other video so anyway that had to go to her then i made another one now this one might be the one i'm on about this one is a different color so again homemade ribbon and then as you unravel it here you are here you go as you unravel it you've got that fabric and then i've got that fabric which is completely different can you see the difference but when you if i was to put it up against something are you really gonna notice it so anyway i i did it a slightly different um the spools as i was going along um i love doing these spools absolutely love doing them and you can add almost anything you want to add to them you can add beads you can make them out of scraps you can do what you want to them because they handmade ribbon but the um actual handmade ribbon itself the spool thing um the paper side of it i found out a tilda Win tilda winter ideas book 
um, and like I say in the book you can go and have a look yourself that it doesn't actually tell you how to make it it just says wouldn't it be nice that's all it says so in this one we have um, I made as made a little diary and all I did was cover it with um, some paper from this is I can't remember the paper pack oh gosh I can't remember the paper pack I'll have to overthink what is the paper pack let me have a look what I think um Stamperia Stamperia oh wait a second wait a second no nope, it's not coming to me oh here it is Stamperia old lace is called there it is it's all in bits because they've been cut to it up obviously but um yeah Stamperia old lace is called so I made Esme a little book and then I covered it with that fabric there. It's actually made in Italy and I had it from a craft fair that me and my mum recently went to. So yeah, I made that for her. How are we doing for time? 20 minutes. Okay. I'll tie that back up later. <laughs> my hands. Right, what else is in here? Come on. I've put in a crochet doily. Um, now I have put in. She's gonna have lots of fun going through these. Um, I put in fit a fair amount actually. I put in that one. There's two there. I put in this purple one because I thought it was so funky. It just needed to go in. And Esme might not like it. She might. It's really fluffy um but it had just had to go in and then i put in this one that one which i thought looked awesome and then there's been find a way again knees out boy she'll have no problem and then of course um, it being the stockings, my flowers had to go in. So I first made this one, um, made this variation of laces, um, and I cut them. I sort of cut them in circles, and then I, I it was a fold up one, and then I used um, that was a, like a flat back uh, bead I had. I can't I think Siobhan sent me that. I might be mistaken. And then I had the circle bead. That was in my pot and it's just like variation of laces and all different kinds of things so there's that one there's this one which again um i've put in this doily um then i did some lace some uh, pink organza used that pink center which was already like that um that so that was no different and then i did this one and they're a bit squished because they were right at the bottom and I left this without a centre because I thought um, if she's going to use them then she might want to add to it. She might want to add her own centre which is why there's no felt at the back. But all of the flowers have been hand stitched. So this one's just again variation different laces all bulked together to make my flowers. So as you can see this is what I have in this stocking now. That's only four stockings. We had five to do. So I'm going to... Oh my word. She's got a real good selection, let me tell you. I'm going to move some of this goodies to one side. And I'm going to make way for this stocking. So this is stocking 25. This is the stocking that could not change in size. It couldn't go... You couldn't go any bigger with it. It had to be the Pacific size it was. So with this stocking, I chose um, to go with white satin. It's felted inside. And then the lace on the outside, let me show you the back more, is um, a chair back cover that Angie gave me. And I had it like loads and loads and loads in my drawer. And because um, Esme, now Esme didn't know that I was making for her, that's the other thing. When we were, when I was grouping everybody up, 
she had who she was making for but she didn't know that I was making for her which was quite nice and um, I was going through my drawer and because I had white as a colour set that just ended up fitting in so the boot of it I did some gold and these are all like little scrap laces at the back there's nothing like a particular lace this is a um, come off a wedding dress fairly recently and then this beaded flowered beaded that came off a wedding dress too and I was keeping it for something special and I just thought do you know what Clet? instead of holding it just use it so I did I went round the side and round that side I did some on the heel and then on the top this has actually come off a vintage wedding dress this goes all the way around and then I did some gold freckle just there I put some uh, what they call it organza and some wedding applique so in stocking 24 we have some more this is what I'm saying I need, I think I need to take some of this stuff out I got some flakes I'm gonna put in I'll take I'll exchange that for something else so when she pulls it out she'll first come with her decoration this is your Christmas decoration as me um, I didn't want to go contradict traditional and go a bauble because I knew the bauble wouldn't fit in the stocking so instead I sat there one day and I was I wanted to do it in the shape of like a church window that's what I had in my mind um, so I used a fairy image used my glossy accent and then these flowers down here now this one this one I'm sure just this one um, came out of a pack that Carla had given me. Carla had given me some of her flowers uh, fairly recently to use. It wasn't something she made. She just gave me some flowers to use. And this was one of them. So thank you, Carla, because it fitted in perfectly. And then I used um, um, what they called glitter. I used glitter. I used... Um, Gosh, what are they called? I'm trying to think what they called now. Um, 3D pearl effects. These. Um, to go around the edge of the flower, I used. Um, oh, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. It's crushed glass. Diamond dust. Diamond dust. There we are. I used nouveau drops. Um, wedding applique everything got chucked onto this so that was her wedding that was her wedding applique that was her Christmas decoration then I made her a pin book now I had this idea of Pinterest um, as I say as me such a fanatic of fabric and sewing I wanted to make her something that she used and even though we had a pin book challenge fairly recently um, I thought she could use this so it comes undone like so and when you open it out she's got two pockets she's got one there and one here so i put some pins in this one and that's the fabric that i used on the stockings by the way and then i put some needles in this one with a tape measure so and i was going to make that into a pocket but it didn't it didn't happen because i went straight across with the sewing machine i was like no and that might <laughs> so she can add felt to add pins in it is padded um and i went down literally and it does look like a house and i just thought what do i do do i you know i couldn't add beading because then it wouldn't look like a house so it is fairly plain but there's a reason why it is that way because i didn't want to overload it because otherwise it would lose the shape of a house i did do the little window with the little curtains um i thought that was quite funky so i did one of them so this stocking you can actually get your hand into in this one we have see i've got that fabric again i'm fixated on that fabric i'm going to switch it up i've got some of this um wet applique put in i'll put no i won't i won't put any of that fabric in i'm fixated on it it's because it's my new fabric and i thought oh i'll add some of that right and then i've got these so the first thing i have is some um this has come off a wedding dress fairly recently so i thought she'd be able to use that 
then I put in this one because I know she hasn't got um, wedding appliques and I put in that one and that one then I've also put in um, a lavender bag now again this lavender bag is made out from two different laces that one being one of them and then I use this gorgeous fabric that um, one of my wishes was granted on the group and please forgive me and it was somebody that was sending me fabric with floral pattern on and I can't remember who it was please forgive me because I it was back in summertime and they had sent it to me and it just worked perfectly on there and I've used um, dried petals lavender and it literally smells of lavender and then I used a variation of laces and bits and pieces and then I had these pop up um, what would you call them if I can find them on my table and amongst all my mess I don't think I can oh yeah I can these they're craft embellishments and they're like they're on pins so I took the pins the pin off and then I just stuck it on and it just fitted perfectly so there's one of them and then oh I to, yeah that's it in this one so that is it in this stocking I am taking that fabric out I think I put too much of that fabric in don't worry I'll put something else in it's because it's one of my new laces and I thought mm, perhaps I might be like this um but yes this is my stockings um most of the things well I would say more or less all of them were handmade um I had great fun making stockings and um I'm gonna have great fun packing all this <laughs> to send it off um I just I know that she's going to have great fun opening each and every single stocking and having great fun in um, in taking it all in and using it and yeah I, I just cannot wait for it to sort of send me a message and say glad I can't believe you put this in but I will be back to show you how I've done those buttons definitely will be back to show you how I've done them um, I just think they are so awesome. I have done a video on these ribbon reels. So you will see that at some point over Christmas. Goodness knows when. Um, but th that is coming soon. And uh, yeah. I Yeah. What, what else to say? I really do hope you've enjoyed looking at um, what I've been busy making. This is why there's no videos been put up over before Christmas because I've been so busy making all these goodies and I've been making things for other people which I'm going to film before they receive it um, that I couldn't show any of it um, so hopefully now <laughs> that's done out the way I can show you why I've been so quiet so hope you really enjoyed um, thank you to everybody who um, participated in the swap and made it special um, thank you to everybody who's been commenting because um, you really got really excited when I put the swap up and you it, all of you just got super excited about um, what we were doing and how we were doing it. It just made me smile. It did make me smile. So I will be back to do a variation of how I did different things. Um, let me know if there's something you've seen and... Um, you want me to do a video on whether that be the lavender bags I haven't actually done a video on that one or the Christmas decoration or something if you want me to show you something you've seen and amongst everything I've showed you and you think Claire, I would really love it if you did a tutorial on that or not a tutorial a how to then I will but the, the buttons definitely I will definitely come back and show you how I've done them and like I say as far as the ribbon reels are um, you will see that at some point so I really do hope you have enjoyed I will be back shortly with another um, YouTube video um, hope you're having a lovely Christmas and I'll catch up with you all soon bye for now